Welcome to the fifth episode of QEBC News. We have the most legendary host this week. I'm Riley. I'm Drake. Uh, starting us off, we have sports. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to sports. I'm Michael. I'm Sydney. And I'm Jay. This week, our junior high boys and girls are competing in the 275 conference tournament. The high school boys are competing for the PVI third place game on Friday, December 1st, and the high school girls are competing for the championship game on Friday, December 1st, and they are playing at Maryville, Missouri in the Bearcat Arena. This week, there will be a game on December 8th over at Graham. We play Bishop LeBlanc, and the theme is throwback. We have interviews with DFAS, Sydney, Brogan, and Abigail. On to our interviews. Hey guys, I'm here with Drake, who is a senior basketball player this year. So what decided to make you play basketball your senior year? Just gonna send it last year to play basketball. I don't know. Do you wish you would have played basketball your junior, sophomore, and freshman year? Kinda, not really. I don't really know. <laughs> not really? So how was it playing at Bearcat Arena for the PBI? It was cool, I was pretty excited. Good time. A, little, a little nervous? Yeah. Little Get bit. out there. Well, good luck to you and your team this season. Back to you guys. I'm here with the legend, Sydney Merritt. Um, how's it feel being the only senior and playing in your last PBI tournament? Um, it's kind of cool being the only senior, but doesn't really mean anything special. And um, a little nervous to go into the PBI, but really excited to play in the championship again. Make you a little sad that uh, it's your last one? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your What's your experience been like playing with your sister? Are you, like, have you enjoyed it? Do you hate it? Do you guys get in fights? Like, what's going on? Um, there's definitely some times where we bicker with each other, but I overall have just enjoyed it a lot, and getting to play with her has been very special since we've been in second and third grade, and I've enjoyed playing with her a lot. Good deal. I mean, you guys are like twins, so basically they're the same person, right, Savannah? She knows. Um, what are your goals going into this season, uh, being it's your senior season? Of course, everyone wants to win the district championship their senior year, but obviously I want to win, and I just want to have 20 wins this year instead of 19 like last year. I say you go all the way, do the go to the state, you know, win state and everything. Yeah. Nice. That's a good goal, honestly. Um, how do you find success on the court? Is there something special you can do? Like, I know you're a little shorter than everybody else, but, like, both of us are. So, like, how do you find this success? So, most of the time, whenever I'm going up against people, I am shorter, so I can use my shortness and quickness to get to the rim or find open spots on the court that some people wouldn't be able to find being as they take up more space on the court. But I think defense makes the easiest offense, and I really like playing defense. So causing turnovers causes us to get transition points and a lot of points for people who are willing to run the floor. Good answer. Thanks, Sid. Obviously, Sydney's a better. What's up, guys? We're here with our junior high athletes. Uh, I'm Sid. I'm Michael. And uh, name and occupation. My name is Brogan, and I'm an underground railroad driver. Name and occupation. Underground basket weaver. Name? Abby. All right, uh, how are we going to prepare ourselves for next year? I'm gonna let Brogan go first. Keep grinding in the off season, going to the summer weights, keep getting stronger, hopefully grow a few inches. Yes, sir. Uh, go to summer weights, go practice outside. Yeah, solid. What has been your biggest challenge that you've had to overcome this year? Abby? Um, Getting, getting the confidence. Confidence, all right. Definitely was gonna say gaining confidence to shoot a lot more. Confidence is very tough to get when you're small like us. Um, next one, we got, uh, what has been your favorite thing about junior high basketball? Anything in specific you guys want to bring in? Practicing, keep winning games. That's really all. Um, games. All righty. Back to you guys. Sports was busy this week with the PVI and the end of junior high season. The girls did well. They won. Lost my voice a little bit during the game. The boys came short and got fourth place. Over to our small business shout out. All right, 
I'm here with Dustin Hannig at the Hannig Sawmill, and I'm going to be asking him questions about the sawmill. So, what's the history of the sawmill here? Um, my grandpa and your great grandpa uh, bought this in the mid '60s and ran it for many years. Um, he sold it to Bill Metzger before he passed away, and then. After Grandpa passed, I went ahead and talked to Bill and bought the mill back. And brought it back home and set everything up. Um, you know, All right. How long have you been doing this? I've been doing this since 2010. We've been uh, started out slow. I was a mechanic for a very long time, and I bought this. And we started doing it part time, and it it became a full time business all right what do you do here we uh, we do pallet stock which is just the stuff to make the pallets we do the uh, dunnage which is four by four and three by four lumber that uh, they throw across semi trailers to stack lumber on and um, we do axe targets for axe throwing venues and I've got several of those around the country that I, I provide for uh, we also do logging and uh, uh, custom sawing of just about anything. All right. Uh, I think that'll be it. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you. Cool. Thank you, Logan. Now over to the elementary star. Okay, I am here catching up on Remarkable Rocket, in which we did not have this week, so I'm here with the elementary character students. This is... Cohort. Um, what did you get the character student of the month um, for? Just being kind in the hallway. Good job. Um, are you ready to be in middle school? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. What, what are you looking forward to? Um, changing classes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Now I'm here with... Hazley. Alright, why did you get the character student of the month? Because I helped people with homework. That's pretty good. <laughs> uh, what's your favorite thing about second grade? Science. What kind of fun, fun things do you do in science? I experience things. What do you do experiments on? Objects. Okay, thank you. Um, we got some leaders coming up in West Nottaway. We do, we do. <laughs> now over to Keevan with Animal Talk. Hello, this is Keevan Moffin from QEBC News, and today I'm showing you my chicken. This is called a Woman Chicken, and they're brown, yellowish brown. Um, sometimes they can be dark brown. This right here is called the comb. This right here is called the waddle. She's getting in a little feisty with me. You should treat chickens with great care, water them, and feed them daily. They eat literally chicken feed, hay, and crushed up corn. Make sure it's crushed up, otherwise it may be hard for them to digest. These chickens can live from one to seven years old, and sometimes they can uh, lay eggs from once a week to every day a week and these chickens are very very important because they do provide for the chicken market the poultry market and you want to treat these with good care but this one I'm keeping as a pet and it is a very fun animal to handle and I just ask that you respect them like when you're around chickens just be nice to them water them feed them whenever needed and you should check that every day they will eat also eat hay at sometimes and you always want to make sure that they have what they need because it could be harsh during the winter make sure you have a heat lamp or something to keep the temperature warm enough for the chicken to live and when you have a lot of these chickens they can be hard to take care of but i don't know because i haven't experienced that but i just ask that if you have a chicken or a bunch of chickens you should always care for it and give it the right vitamins and minerals and 
This is a great pet, and this is Keeman Maupin from QEBC News. Thanks, Keevan. Big Andy has some upcoming events. Let's hear him. Welcome to upcoming events. I'm Andrew Leitner. 12 Days of Christmas has started. Dress up to win prizes and check email for a daily guessing game. Upcoming dress up days. December 12th, Ho Ho Hat Day. Wear your favorite Santa or Hell Fat. December 13th, Ugly Christmas Sweater. Wear your ugliest sweater you have. December 14th, Jolly Jersey Day. Wear your favorite shirt or jersey. December 15th, Polar Express Day. Wear your PJs, enjoy hot cocoa at lunch. December 18th is Movie Monday. Dress as your favorite movie character. December 19th, Tinsel Toes Tuesday. Wear your holiday socks. December 20th, Candy Cane Day. Dress in red, white, and stripes. December 11th, Santa will be at BJ City Hall. On December 13th, Junior High will have their Polar Express night. Movies, games, hot cocoa, and snacks. On December 15th, come meet Santa in the elementary. Soup supper for after prom will be that night before the games. On December 18th, school is in session. December 19th through the 20th is finals. And then, finally, December 21st through January 2nd is Christmas break. Dad joke of the week. What do Santa's little helpers learn at school? The alphabet! Thank you, Andrew. I heard our seniors have some pretty good advice. Let's hear what they have to say. This is Hot Takes with Annie and Sarah. Today we're going to be asking some seniors some questions. Oh, there's one right there. Excuse me. Hey, what up? So, is it okay if I ask you a question? Yes. All right. What has been your favorite part about senior year? Favorite part about senior year? Definitely being one of the older kids and getting to lead the uh, lead the younger guys. That's very valid. Give me some. Yes. Let's go find our next senior. Okay. Sydney, what advice would you give the freshmen? It's really not that deep. You have three minutes to get to class. Don't run. Let's go find another senior. Wonder if there's one in here. Oh, there is. <laughs> Riley, what are you upset most about graduating? I'm not. May 12th can't come fast enough. Great. Oh, sorry, I just had to check myself out. Hey, let me out! Oh, it's another senior. Keevan? What's your favorite part about senior year? Well, graduating, of course. Sir, what's your favorite part about your senior year? Definitely QBC News. What's some advice you'd give to freshmen? Set your schedule up so your senior year is really easy so you don't have to do anything. That's it for Hot Takes. Sarah and Annie, signing off. Okay. I suppose the seniors do have some good advice. I guess so. Now to our bloopers. I'm gonna start it. You guys do your thing. Hold on. <laughs> this is gonna be like an hour long video. <laughs> Stop for a second. Uh. I'm taking a bye bye with you right now, Sydney. <laughs> Sydney, I'm not like a. 12 Days of Christmas has started. Dress up to win prize tickets and get some cool prizes. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with Drake. He's a senior basketball player this year. So, what made you? <laughs> <laughs> now let's go find another senior. What if there's one here? On December 15th, come meet Santa in the elementary. Soup supper after prom sponsor. <laughs> hey guys, I'm here with Drake, who is a senior basketball player <laughs> this year. 
What's wrong? Oh, I can't. Fit check. Here's my outfit. Okay. This. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, what question? Oh, yeah. It's either advice you have in the first one, question you care about that senior Show everyone what you're eating. He's eating icing with a spoon. No proof. Nice. Hey guys, so <laughs> Alright, we'll restart it. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what's the question? Oh, what's the question? Oh, what's the question? Take two, fit check. Here's the outfit. This, I think I got from Target maybe. Halter top underneath from Tilly's. These are old navy leggings. Converse. Bracelets from Amazon. Earrings from Amazon. Necklace from Target. Ring, don't remember. Andrew's gonna give his fit check now. Fit check. Oh. <laughs> He's dripping. Fit check. Oh. Okay. So my headband and my sparkly necklace are from Kohl's. My cutie patootie light up sweatshirt came from Sam's. Jeans, buckle, shoes, or ons. I think I got them from Shields. 